Now we look at how do the equations of motion vary. Equations of motion vary under the influence of gravity. Equations of motion under the influence of under the influence of gravity. Here, in case of the body moving with reference to the gravitational influence, when a body is coming down, acceleration is due to the gravitational pull. Therefore, A will become plus G, whereas in case of a body moving in upward direction, the acceleration will become minus G. Simply replacing a value with plus g minus g depending upon how the body is moving then the equations of motion will change as an application v is equal to u plus a t is the equation which we have written in case of a body is moving along a horizontal path with an acceleration a the same thing when a body is moving upwards with the influence of gravity, then the same equation is going to change as u minus gt because a is replaced by minus g. Body going up. This is the case when body going upwards. Similarly, when body is coming downwards, body falling down. When body is falling downwards, falling down. In that case, the same equation is going to be u plus gt. Similarly, the second equation comes out to be s is equal to ut plus half a t square. So, s is equal to ut minus half gt square. Here, this comes out to be s is equal to ut plus half gt square. And here, this comes out to be v square minus u square is equal to 2as, the third equation. Here, v square minus u square is equal to minus 2gs. And here, v square minus u square is equal to plus 2gs. Similarly, the fourth equation is going to be sn is equal to u plus g into n minus half. Original equation is u plus a into n minus half. Here it becomes Sn is equal to u plus u minus g into n minus half. In place of a, I am substituting minus g. Here it comes out to be Sn is equal to u plus g into n minus half. That means whenever the body is moving under the influence of gravity, a must be replaced by g. In case of a body is moving upwards, then A must be replaced by minus G. Whereas, when it is coming downwards, A must be replaced by plus G. That's how the equations of motion will change depending upon how the body is moving in a vertical direction against the gravitational influence or towards the gravitational influence. Against the gravitational influence, if it moves, A must be replaced by G. If it is moving, towards the gravity, towards the ground, then A must be replaced by plus G. This is how the equations of motion vary.